pretty bad. The Clown Motel sits halfway between Reno and Las Vegas, and Fox 10's Andrew Hasbin and photojournalist Joe Tillman, they took the trip to Tonopah, Nevada, and they found out it's not just clowns that frighten the motel guests there. It's a dog. You are the proprietor, right? Yes. The sign grabs you. You've never seen a place like this. Welcome to the Clown Motel. There's about 600 clowns. <laughs> and that theme doesn't stop at the front office. In the rooms, clowns over the bed. I've had people that come in here and they say, oh my God. I didn't realize you had all these clowns. Some guests seek out this motel. Walking into the lobby, I was not prepared for the onslaught of um, clowns. But others leave in fear. I go and take the pictures off the walls in the rooms or cover them up with a, with a dishcloth. And they'll stay, but they just couldn't have clowns around. Owner Bob Perchetti says a few guests have claimed to see <laughs> clown-shaped figures passing by their windows at night. One guest said that uh, he woke up and there was a large life-size clown, like the one in the corner, standing in front of his bed. And he said he would kind of wipe the, the kind of wipe the uh, sleep out of his eyes and and wash away, and he was still there. And then all of a sudden he just disappeared, completely disappeared. If all the clowns weren't enough to creep you out, there's something else that scares guests away. The motel was built next to a cemetery that's more than 100 years old. This was the county cemetery created around the turn of the century. Its occupants? Exactly what you might expect from an old west town. A murdered sheriff, prostitutes, barkeepers, even 14 miners killed in a fire. All of them died from smoke inhalation. Alan Metzger helped restore the cemetery after it closed in 1911. Decades of storms and vandalism left the graveyard in ruins. He helped re-identify the buried, including William Murray, who died saving trapped miners. They found his remains at the sump of the shaft down 1,400 feet, uh, decapitated and mutilated. Now, the cemetery has become legend. These towns have have that that air about them because there's so much uh, hardship that happened here around the turn of the century. Tonopah is no exception. The town is full of ghost stories, like the woman murdered on the fifth floor of the Mitzpah Hotel, who some say still haunts her room. People have seen strange things at this graveyard too. Like my daughters saw like a spirit of a, a young girl there. Uh, some people say they see, you know, minors and, and things like that out there. We spoke to his daughter and her friend, amateur ghost hunters, who aren't afraid to wander into the graveyard at night, and they took us inside. We recorded it using a night vision camera, but when we went back to look at the video, the video wasn't there. Something happened and we could only hear the girls' voices. Also, during the interview, the light on our night vision camera unexpectedly turned off. Why'd that light turn off? Sometimes when I go ghost hunting out here, my battery goes out. Like when on my camera, like it goes off and then my phone dies and my camera dies. Did you turn that off? No. Don't give me that crap. I didn't. He didn't. Did you believe him? I don't believe he him. He didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. <laughs> All right, maybe we should go. Toward the end of the interview, the light suddenly turned back on, and we checked out of the Clown Motel first thing the next morning. I'm Andrew Hasman, Fox 10 News. I think I would have slept in the car that night. <laughs> Man, Just curled up in the front seat. That was cool. The original builders of the Clown Motel, they choose the spot next to the graveyard. They chose it because their father is buried there.